What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is another special day. Today is a new amp day to me. I just received a new amp, a new used amp. It's called Fame Bulldozer or Yarasov Bulldozer. So Yarasov Bulldozer is supposed to be a very close clone of the Mesadore rectifier. It was made and I guess it's still being made in Russia by Yarasov amps. And I've heard a lot of good stories about this amp. So yeah, I decided to buy it. Uh, special thanks to Danny from Lichtler Audio for suggesting this amp to me because I would have probably skipped it when I was looking at it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that I bought it and I have here now the unboxing video and the demo video. So we're gonna try it out and hear how it sounds and yeah, how it behaves. So yeah, let's let's start by doing the unboxing and then you can, uh, yeah, let's switch afterwards to the demo. You can of course jump between the sections if you like, if you don't want me to see rambling and opening up with scissors because I lost my scalper somewhere, I couldn't find it, so scissors are going to have to do it. So yeah, let me turn on the video here to record so that you can see what's going on and let's start opening up. So. Let's do it like this. And then from this side, let's see. And then here. That's done. This side. And this side. All right, so we have it open. Let's see what's in the box. So we have the cable, the power cable. That's good, I need that. Definitely I need it. Crap, crap. We've got foot switch, usual stuff. So it has a loop on and off and the effects channel and the channel. That's cool, I didn't know that switches come with a loop. Protection, protection. Oh boy, here it is. Some additional weird protection inside. And an amp itself. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but let me try and do it like this carefully a bit. So that I can grab the handle itself without hurting the tolex or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let me try to bring it up. And let's move this away. So, here it is. Let me unwrap it first before doing it. Opa. This amp is supposed to come with um, EL34 tubes instead of 6L6s, I think. So that's the key difference of the mess setting. But yeah, let's see. Okay. And then it's not, it's not. So here it is. Hope you can see it. I still didn't see it to be honest. So you're seeing it before me. So let me switch it around. So I can see it properly. Oh, nice. It's a bit ugly, this faceplate, like a metal bulldozer faceplate. But I guess they're emulating mess as much as possible. So that's cool, I guess. And it looks, it looks brand new. Like I don't see any scratch, anything like it's, it's completely brand new. It's amazing. So yeah. Um, let me put it on the desk first and here's the bad boy, bulldozer. So yeah, fame bulldozer. I'm gonna now plug it in. I'm gonna make a cut here so that you're not bothered with me plugging in all that stuff and come back with, with a demo. See ya. Okay, so I finally set up my amp. Um, I'm just going from my comparison TAT2 into the pedal board, mainly for the overdrive pedals, and then going into the amp. 
and is on standby at the moment. Um, and yeah, so the layout here is that we have channel one and channel two. Channel one can be split between a clean signal and the high gain, and channel two is just a high gain. And yeah, that's that's more or less it. The layout is master, presence, bass, middle, treble, and gain. So a bit opposite. And yeah, let's uh, turn it on and see what we can do with it. I'm gonna use headphones because it, I don't want to play loud music this late in the night. So let's see. Ah yeah, let me turn on the recordings. So yeah, let's see, master to the middle, nothing, then gain, middle. And let's bring everything else to the middle. Bass, middle, treble, presence, and let me turn on my noise gate as well. So let's see how everything is noon, more or less. That, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Let's mess with gain. So, more gain or less gain? Let's, let's go more first. Three o'clock. to the max. Let's mess with presence, so presence all the way down.
Presence Max. This slaps. Let's see, maybe reduce treble a bit, boost presence. Yeah, this definitely <laughs> sounds like dual rectifier, a, a bit tighter, definitely a bit tighter. I think it's due to the EL, EL tubes, uh, EL 34, 34, yeah, I got the brain, brain freeze at the moment. So let me turn on uh, some of the other dry pedals. Let's try with, um, yeah, Lichtler Maudio Azeheter, see what we can do with it, so. Thank you. 
Let's see, maybe Savage Drive, Aries Effects. Let's see how it goes. That's it, like, I'm, I'm speechless how good this sounds and for how cheap I got it. Pedal off.
so the mids is not it's not very overwhelming i like it it doesn't go like too crazy either way so it doesn't lose all the mids and it doesn't push too much mids so that's good in my opinion but bass is very powerful here Yeah, guys so i would say that's it i'm gonna stop recording here more or less yeah I'm, i can say that i'm pretty excited i got this and it sounds amazing and i think it's gonna do the job that i bought it for amazingly well so I, basically i looked for an amp that could complement my angle savage so as angle savage as you know is very you know in your face very dry distortion very specific and it cuts through the mix very easily so i needed an amp that could complement around that you know when mixing and so on when playing and uh the first thing that came to my mind was Mesodor rectifier of, of course but then yeah daniel from lictam audio suggested me to look into this one and i'm glad i listened to him so i bought it and yeah this is <laughs> probably one of the best buys i've done in my life it sounds freaking amazing it I, I after this one i really don't need Mesodor rectifier i really don't think i can gain anything drastically better than this so in my opinion this is the like one of the end end amps that i'm gonna keep probably and yeah i'm gonna make more videos of it definitely so i'm gonna make more in-depth videos going through all the channels i now went only through the channel 2 because that's what i'm interested in but it also has channel 1 and it has the clean and high gain and it also has the vintage and modern mode so i'm gonna make videos that are gonna highlight and go through all of those to make sure to subscribe and like this video if you like it of course and yeah i'm gonna make tons of videos in the future where i'm gonna combine two different amps like uh, angled and bull, uh, bulldozer and so on and so on like try to combine different characters of uh, different schools of distortions you know american versus uh, British versus German and so on and so on. So yeah, I think it's it's amazing. It sounds much better than I expected, to be honest. It's much tighter in my opinion. So it's really it's really nice amp and it works with pedals wondrously. So yeah, I'm gonna stop recording here. I'm gonna play around with uh, Yoda, baby Yoda. Hey, wake up. Ah, I guess I turned them on turn them off anyway i'm gonna stop recording and yeah hope you joined it and see you next time bye guys <laughs>